Hi there, this is Anmesh and today I have a nifty little shortcut for you that's going to be really useful, especially if you're confused in Photoshop. So let's jump straight in. So here we have a background image and a text layer. Now I'm going to press a key that will literally blow your mind. Not exactly, but let's do it. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. There you go. Boom. Now, what is the key that I pressed? Well, that has to be a mystery. But before that, you need to understand that the key that I pressed set the foreground color to the text. So whatever there was in the foreground color, that color was applied to the text. Now the shortcut is, and here's the shortcut, Alt Backspace, Option Delete if you're using a Mac. Now probably you already know about this shortcut. Now normally what we use the shortcut for is very simple to fill a layer, right? We knew that. So create a new layer. What are you going to fill this layer with? You can set the foreground color. So double click on the foreground color and choose the color whatever you want. Click OK. And then if you press Alt Backspace, it fills the complete layer with that color. But what we didn't know is that this can be applied to a text layer. So when you apply this to a text layer, instead of filling the whole layer with a color, it just fills the text. Or in other words, it changes the color of the text to whatever there is in the foreground color. So how is this going to be useful? Suppose you're confused in Photoshop whether to use white for this text or black for this text or any other color. Here's what you can do. You can press D, D for dog. This resets the foreground and the background color to black and white. And then you can press X to switch between the foreground and the background color. Suppose now you want to set this to white. So make sure this text layer is selected and then press Alt Backspace. Now, as you can see, the color has been changed to white. Now, if you press X, that will switch the foreground color to the background color and the background to the foreground. So X switches just the opposite. Alt Backspace or Option Delete. Boom, done. So if you want to test which color works for you in quick succession, you can press X Alt Backspace or X Option Delete. There you go. There you go. There you go. And you get the idea how to use that. What if you want to use any other color other than black and white? Really simple. Open up the swatches. So go to Windows and then Swatches. So let's just fit it in here. And there for the foreground color, you can choose any color you want. For example, let's choose this color. Press X and for the background color, which is now the foreground color. You can choose any other color, say green. I can test that X Alt Backspace, X Alt Backspace. Easy as a pie. Now this effect is not just limited to text. You can do much more with that. Let's switch to the second example. So here's the second example. Very simple composite. We have a background image. There we go. And above that, we have a solid color adjustment layer, the blend mode of which is multiply. If you don't know how to create that, it's really simple. Let's do that again. Let's delete it. Click on this adjustment layer icon and choose solid color and choose the color of whatever you like. Let's choose orange. There we go. Just like that and click OK. Next, change the blend mode of this one to multiply. I kind of don't like the color. So let's go a little bit more orange ish. And above that, I wrote a text which I don't think makes any sense. So here's what you can do in this one. Select the solid color adjustment layer. Click on this icon. OK, select the solid color adjustment layer. And here too, you can do the same. Press the shortcut as you already have guessed, Alt Backspace. Amazing, isn't it? X, Alt Backspace. X, Alt Backspace. Gonna try different colors. You get the idea how to work with this. Now, let me show you one other example. It's also not just limited to solid colors. One other example. There we go. If you wanna know how to do this, just watch my video on using knockout feature in the blending options, okay? Let me show you how to do this. You might be a little confused. Okay, let's do that again. So here we have a background image, simple, I'll draw a rectangle, very simple. Click on this rectangle tool and create a rectangle just like that and make sure I fill it with white. So click on the fill and let's choose white. Okay. And above that, I'll choose the text tool and type in right in here. I'll just move it later. Save trees. Okay. There we go. Select the move tool, control or command T. Let's make it a little bigger. I hope I pronounced that right. Spelled that right, actually. Now I'll move it just above that. Just like that. And maybe I'll just center it. Press Control or Command A. Okay. And then select the Move tool and use these tools to center stuff. So it's centered. Select the rectangle. Click on the same thing. It's centered. Now you want to center the Save Trees text layer in the middle of the rectangle. How to do that? 
press Ctrl or Command D to deselect the current selection and then hold the controller command and click on the rectangle. Now select the Save Trees layer and then with the Move tool, click on this center align. Okay, center align vertically and it is aligned. Press Ctrl or Command D and there you go, it's done. Now you can select the rectangle, press Ctrl or Command T and then hold Shift and Alt and make it narrower from the center, just like that. Now that looks good. Now you can make the whole group a little bigger by holding the controller command, clicking on the other one and pressing controller command T and make both of them bigger. There you go. Now what you can do, double click on the right hand side of the layer, save trees and then it's really really cool. Decrease the fill opacity to 0% and change the knockout to shallow and click OK. Now as you can see this is punching a hole through everything, through every other layer. Now what you can do, if you want this to punch a hole through just the rectangle, just this layer, make a group of both of those. So hold the controller command, select the other one, make sure both of them is selected and make a group of them by holding control or command G. There you go, it's done. Now as I said, it's not just limited to text, it's not just limited to solid color adjustment layer, it can also be applied to a shape. So you can choose the rectangle shape and alt backspace, there you go and you can press X and play with it you can choose so I was in this image especially I was confused whether to use yellow or to use white so I would set this to say yellow and I would set the background color to say white which is now the foreground color by the way so whether to use this or to use this so you can make your own choice so that's pretty much it for this nifty little shortcut just remember alt backspace on Windows option delete on Mac and it's not just limited to layer fills, it can be also applied to solid color adjustment layers, to text layers and even shapes and it has a lot more uses which you need to figure out. This is your homework and actually I didn't want to figure out so this is your homework. Thank you so much for watching, I hope this helped you and if it did make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe, ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss a thing. I'll see you guys in my next one till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.